Tonight, complaints of unaccounted for pets, weeks of waiting for their ashes, and allegations of disturbing conditions at a pet cremation business in Colorado Springs. 13 investigates uncovered video recordings revealing what employees of Lasting Paws Pet Memorial Services say about the facility where they work. Reporter Riley Carroll explains how one pet owner says his experience at the business amplified the grief of losing his pet in this 13 Investigates report, Ashes to Anguish. Jeremy DeWall's dog, Thomas, died June 27th. He took it to Lasting Paws Pet Memorial Services on Karen Lane in Colorado Springs to keep Thomas's memory with him forever. I opted for the individual cremation like I had with my other dogs uh, so that I could get his ashes back. After that, the, the typical process, they say, takes up to, up to two weeks, they, they told me. Two weeks after he dropped his dog off, Jeremy hadn't heard anything from Lasting Paws. He went there in person to find answers. He says the door to the crematorium was open when he got there and he looked inside. There was a, a pile of black and blue bags that literally were probably 10 feet plus out from the side of this, this building and piled up a good 10 feet plus. Inside, Jeremy began to push for answers on when his dog would be cremated. And they said, we can't give you one. Then one of the workers said to me, well, we don't even have enough cold storage. That's when it hit me, and I remember turning and looking out the window. They have some small windows in that room right out at that building that those bags were rotting animals out there. My heart just sunk. I thought, gosh, it's my dog laying in the bottom of that pile rotting right now. Jeremy demanded to know where his dog was being stored. He was told his dog was, in fact, in the refrigerator. That's when Jeremy began recording his interaction with the employees on his cell phone. So the dogs are not in cold storage? Not all of them. And honestly, all of us agree. <laughs> <laughs> and you're stuck um, in that we're, we're all doing the yeah. absolute best we can. Yeah. Um, and we're getting, gosh, we've got clinics calling us, cussing us out, owners calling us and swearing and yelling. Also. Two days later, Jeremy went to Lasting Paws and spoke to a manager, also recorded that conversation. Jeremy, it's, it's, I have no words for that. I, I, I found out what was going on on Friday. I got here on Saturday morning. Um, we, we got that trailer in. I got additional chest got today. I saw in that bay that was open on Saturday, piles of animals along the wall. And it was black bags and blue bags. I mean, that's not that's not dignified. It's no. not the way you treat someone's loved one, and it's certainly not legal. No, it's not right by any means. Thirteen investigates found that a majority of veterinarian offices in Colorado Springs recommend lasting pause for cremation services. One of them told 13 Investigates their office had never heard of any issues up until June. That's when they say they reached out to Lasting Paws to see what was going on, but never heard back. On their website, Lasting Paws advertises as, quote, the best in pet aftercare. But 13 Investigates found multiple negative reviews online. Five months ago, a Google review says it took a month to get their pet back, saying, quote, bad enough when you lose your pet, shouldn't have to deal with pushy, incompetent staff. Took them over a month to get my animal back to me. One two-star review reading, the thought of her body lying around for two weeks is devastating and so painful for me. This is not professional or compassionate or caring in any way. On Yelp, in June, a one-star review saying the customer was, quote, extremely traumatized from their experience at Lasting Paws. Beyond customer reviews, 13 investigates worked to find formal complaints filed against the facility or the parent company. We checked with the Humane Society and Animal Law Enforcement, requested records from the State Department of Agriculture under their Pet Animal Care Facilities Act, but were told they don't regulate pet cremation services. 13 investigates learned the pet aftercare industry has little state oversight and no federal oversight. The International Association of Pet Cemeteries and Crematories is a nonprofit that provides standards and ethics for the otherwise unregulated industry. Unfortunately, in our industry, because of, um, you know, the, the industry itself, the, the, the biggest factor for a pet parent or for a veterinarian is that trust in knowing that you're getting your beloved baby's uh, pet's uh, cremains back. Since Jeremy's conversation with that manager, the company told us that person is no longer in that position. In a statement to 13 Investigates, Lasting Paws said the expectation they set with customers is, quote, pets remain in cold storage while at our care center until they're being prepared for the cremation service.
Lasting Paws has not answered our question if animals were in fact ever left unrefrigerated, as Jeremy's recordings indicate. 13 Investigate sent the company a copy of the recordings included in this report. The managing director tells us employees were not aware they were being recorded by Jeremy and that they capture only parts of the conversation. He also added, quote, Unfortunately, as with most businesses throughout the United States, we experienced a labor shortage here in Colorado Springs, causing some service delays. Fortunately, we've hired additional staff and with the installation of new equipment, we've been operating at expected service levels for weeks now, meaning the prior delays have been resolved. After four weeks, Jeremy finally got what he was told were his dog's ashes, but he has his doubts. I don't know if it's him or not. You know, that's one of the hard parts that's lasting. I never would expect someone to take someone's loved one that we're entrusting with them at you know, their last time on earth and to treat them like a bag of garbage. The International Association of Pet Cemeteries and Crematories conducted a formal investigation into Lasting Paws after getting a formal complaint. Now, Lasting Paws told 13 Investigates it was determined there was a, quote, temporary equipment and employee shortage situation that has been completely rectified. We requested confirmation from the investigating organization, and we're still waiting to hear back. In the studio, Riley Carroll, 13 Investigates.